What story? I didn't forget to pick you up at the airport, Lois. The reason I wasn't there is because I was protecting people. I'm the red, blue, blur. <laughs> That's the best you can do. <laughs> that thing that saved you from the speeding car, that was me. That time the barn door flew off its hinges, you thought it was a weather anomaly. I did that. Yeah, right. What'd you do? Sneeze? Actually. Clark, next time you liquid lunch, take the rest of the day off. <sighs> Let me help you with that. Smallville. You're speechless. That's never a good thing. The disappearing acts, the half baked excuses. All this time, I just coughed it up to a classic case of Peter Pan syndrome, but... You're the opposite. You're like... <laughs> a hero? Look, Lois, I, this is a lot to take in... all at once, but I wanted you to hear it from me before you heard it from anyone else. So why am I the first one you told? Actually, Lois, you're not. Lana and Chloe already know. Oh. Someone's had a busy morning. They've known for years. Right, of course. Start at the beginning. What guns you got in your arsenal? I guess I might as well just throw it all out there. I can blast fire out of my eyes. Okay. I can hear a dog barking from 10 miles away. I can see through solid objects and I can run faster than the speed of sound. Wait. Rewind. Expand on your whole see through things thing. No, Lord, I. Look, I have to focus. How did I not put these pieces together? I mean, I, I lived with you. And now we practically work on top of each other. I mean, have I been high this entire time? The important thing is that you know now. And there's no better reporter to tell my story than you. Would you do me the honor? Consider it done. Tomorrow's front page will tell the tale of the red and blue meteor infected hero. About the meteors. We should talk about where I'm from. <laughs> 